Well, I've been practicing in Birmingham for 20 years, and many of the techniques that I was using in dealing with breast cancer, I felt were sort of old and stale, and every time I went to a meeting, I would hear something about oncoplastic surgery, and I'd say, I should be doing that, and my patients deserve that. Um, but in every meeting I went to, I would just see the slides, and I would not have the real courage to go back and start doing the very techniques that I'd seen. So this conference, really concentrating on oncoplastic surgery was really important. And I only take um, one CME a year because I'm the only little rat on the wheel in my practice. And so I can't really afford to take much time off. So I needed the most bang for my buck. And although, the courses in Dallas and I live in Birmingham is no problem traveling here. I would say that it has dramatically increased my courage in moving forward. So I not only have uh, diagrams, but I have people that I've talked to now for three days and in a pretty concentrated form. I now have a language that I could use with my plastic surgeon. I have the confidence to approach him about joining me on breast conserving surgery. Uh, we tend to practice in isolation, uh, plastic surgeons, general surgeons, um, and we, we don't really communicate much unless we're gonna do a joint case, and that's always been uh, mastectomies in the past for me. But now, as I'm gonna start to utilize some of these techniques, we're gonna have an asymmetry with the other breast and it's gonna invite a closer relationship with him. So I need the language, I need to know what it is I want to provide for the patient. You know, for the longest time, I had never seen any pictures, and, and I didn't really understand that we could really change the contour of the breast favorably in doing a partial mastectomy. My concern was always how to minimize the distortion and now my concentration has changed in a different direction, such that I'm really thinking, how can I apply what Dr. Lebovic and many other doctors here have shown me, Dr. Anderson, uh, just incredible teaching that I've had. Um, now I can apply those things in confidence. We had a cadaver lab which really changed my ability to move from a slide and a piece of paper to my patients. Um, I'm a person that thinks if it took me five or six years to do my residency, then I better spend a great deal of time before I ever move from a piece of paper to a person. And I think this course has now given me the confidence, the language, and I know I have the ability uh, to put many of these practices into my practice and enhance how my women end up looking at the end of breast conservation. After all, they chose breast conservation because they wanted to conserve their breast because they think it's the best breast they'll ever get. And I must say, I agree with them. Uh, so now I have more to offer them and I'm really excited about going back I'm excited about an ongoing relationship with faculty here and with this course. I plan to come every year. So I guess you would say I'm gonna be a devotee and uh, I just can't say enough that's positive about this use of my time.